Hello there guys, and welcome back to another installment of Juan on Juan. This time we have Miles Gaskins who put together another strong game coming off missing a couple of games. He was able to finish for it with a total of 14 carries for 87 yards, with also 5 catches for 82 yards and 2 touchdowns. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first play we're going to be analyzing is going to come on first down and shows that early on Miles was working with not just a different gear, but also with a new sense of decisiveness and aggressiveness. On the second angle, watch as he slashes his way through traffic for a gain of 14 yards. This is going to be the following play. Miles is going to cut it up to the left and be able to get eight yards. Uh, one thing that I definitely liked and enjoyed seeing throughout the night is he definitely got us ahead of the sticks. Unfortunately, this game, we weren't able to take advantage and do anything offensively, really. Uh, but eventually, this will be worth it, and this will prove to be something that's a weapon um, to help us get into short second and third downs. We'll be able to actually you know, take some deep shots. Here again, we see another gain of 8 yards, this time stretching it to the outside before cutting it up and making an ex-Miami Dolphin look kind of silly in space. All these plays allows us to be ahead on the chains and do more creative stuff to attack downfield. At least that's the general principle when it comes to a modern day offense. On the 24-yard run, you're actually going to see that it's the exact same play as the 8-yard run previously. This time we have linemen in the second level. Uh, Austin Jackson actually tripped and blocked no one. Uh, an awesome job by Miles to attack the lane and make people miss. Uh, like I said earlier, he just showed a different level of decisiveness and aggressiveness that I don't think we've seen uh, very often and probably the last time was against the Jets. On the touchdown from Tua, we can see how much uh, Miles Games has actually grown. Awesome job to make the defender in number 98 commit to rushing the blocker based off Miles appearing that he's staying in to block. As soon as 98 commits, you see Miles do an excellent job of slipping out for the screen where he makes a man miss and goes in for the touchdown. On the second uh, angle, you're going to be able to see it a little clearer how he actually freezes him like he's going to block him. And then as soon as 98, which I believe is Max Crosby, goes in to actually uh, rush the passer and rush Tua, that's when you see Miles go ahead and just slip under. Beautiful. With all the great plays so far by Miles, this was the one that let me know he was cooking the most. Watch as he comes to a dead stop behind the line of scrimmage before reading the cutback and sprinting to the opposite side the play is supposed to go to. The second angle, you're going to be able to see it a little more clear, um, and you're going to be able to see what I would envision, what I kind of see as a little mini version of Le'Veon Bell. This final play here is the 59-yard touchdown, which is easily the longest play of the year for the Dolphins. A great job of Miles to catch a small completion and turn it upfield to make a special play. Love that, they, that he again breaks a tackle and a huge shout-out to Matt Collins, who was able to block two people and really spring it loose. 
Overall, I spoke pregame about the Dolphins wanting to run the Patriots style of backfield, where whoever has the hot hand will ultimately get the bulk of the carries. Let's see who steps up next week against the Buffalo Bills in a game that if we win, we are in the playoffs. Till next time, guys, fins up.